I absolutely believe online voting is secure and auditable. Um, I think it's important to stress that um, when you're engineering a solution for online voting, it's like no other web application. You're engineering for a, for a kind of a very different problem. You're, you're looking to make sure that something is very secure. It can't be tampered with. It's entirely private, yet it needs to be auditable and uh, it needs to be transparent. So you need to prove the accuracy of the information, i.e. what the voter has voted for, uh, but do it in a very secret and privacy preserving way. Smartmatic have built an incredibly secure and auditable and verifiable online voting system called Tivi, which is used for government elections. And um, we build into Tivi some very specific features, which again, support those uh, fundamental properties or, or processes of security and auditability. So for example, when it comes to the vote, um, we use very, very strong authentication techniques to really prove it's the, um, the right eligible person that's, uh, that's actually gaining access to the platform and, and getting their ballot presented to them. When it comes to the voting process, we encrypt, we strongly encrypt and digitally sign the vote actually on the voter's device even before we send it down an encrypted um, uh, an encrypted channel between the browser and the server. So we build in this application level cryptography and digital signing process that protects the vote and again ensures that it, it's being sent from the eligible voter and it hasn't been tampered with. When it comes to the vote storage, you can probably appreciate there are you know instances that, that people read about where denial of service attacks um, hit different types of web applications, whether that's Amazon or, um, you know, a lot of these kind of systems which are always online. And we have some very specific protections that um, mitigate that risk. So, for example, we don't store the votes in a single uh, storage area. We store them on a distributed uh, consensus-based storage network, uh, which, again, enhances the availability uh, uh, of, of the system. And when it comes to vote decryption, uh, we think it's important that um, no single person or entity um, should be the person or, or the organization decrypting the vote. So we have a collaborative threshold based decryption process whereby um, a, a cohort, a quorum of key holders come together and have to collaborate to uh, recreate the election private key and then in front of one another perform that decryption uh, process. So these are some of the additional security measures that um, need to be in place in a government online voting system. And again, are in place in, in Tivi, which is a Smartmatic online voting system. But the other thing is um, having the tools and the mechanisms to prove that those security uh, processes are operated correctly. And that, that means from the perspective of the voter, it means from the perspective of auditors and the election management body, and we have some very specific tools and processes that ensure what we call um, cast as intended verifiability can be checked. Stored as cast verifiability can be can be um, proven as well and, and counted as cast can be proven as well. So these this again, this this concept of auditability or transparency within the context of a very secure and private system is, is critically important. But as I think most people appreciate, the the Internet and the threats that are on the Internet uh, are changing almost on a daily basis. So the kind of dynamic nature of this means that we can't be static. You need to continue researching and making sure that you are one step ahead of, of, of the bad guys or malicious actors who may wish to, you know, to, to disrupt an election or try and hack an election. Uh, and we're very proud to uh, be major contributors to some very, very significant research domains around um, encryption and online voting security, in particular, provable uh, or verifiable uh, cryptography. Uh, and also we're doing a lot of work on blockchain and distributed ledger technology, which we think is um, one of a number of tools which can help enhance the transparency of an online voting system. Um, and we're actually working as part of a European Union um, funded consortium within the auspices of the Horizon 2020 research programme 
to look at new and additional ways that just distributed ledger technology and blockchain can help enhance the, the transparency of online voting systems. So without doubt, I absolutely, absolutely believe and know that secure and auditable online elections absolutely can take place.